I've done a thorough search of the hotel, the grounds, the surrounding areas. No sign of Faison? Not yet, but we've issued an international alert. Okay, good. You know, don't assume that he's gonna leave the country. He won't give up that easily. Is Lavery back in his cage? Yes. And I've taken the precaution of relocating Robin Scorpio Drake. Neither one is in a position to tell the police that you're really face on. I need passenger list for all flights leaving Port Charles and added December 6th. Domestic or international? Both. We're looking for Duke Lavery and Anna Devane. The commissioner? Yeah. Sounds like you're in the middle of a crisis. Yeah. What's up, Michael? I need you to arrest Dad. Tell me something. What would have happened if Michael and Star hadn't walked in when they did? Sonny, come on, answer the question, man. Because it looked to me you were half an inch away from killing Michael's biological father. AJ got what he deserved. Of course, of course. Excuse me. I took him down to the ER, but it was taking entirely too long. Would you be able to help him, please? Yeah, why don't you take a seat over here and I'll Thank you. the doctor. Elizabeth, it's been a long time. I knew you were back, but I heard you couldn't attend Edward's funeral because you were under house arrest. Yeah, well, it's, it's all been cleared up. It's, it's good to see you. I'm sorry, I can't say the same. So how did it go from a couple of friendly rounds to you beating the crap out of AJ? I let him get to me, Sean. Well, he was holding his own there for a minute, and he got in a couple of punches. Then everything changed, and you really start to hammer at him. AJ goaded me into it. It was almost like he wanted me to hit him. God, how does Faison get to escape so easily? For all we know, he is still in the hotel. Well, that's comforting. Rest assured, we have eyes on you and Mr. Lavery. No, I know that, thank you. I'm just frustrated, you know, that he can vanish again. Where is he? If Anna discovers that I'm masquerading as Duke Lavery, then all my trouble is for naught. Your secret is safe. Let's hope it was worth it. Anna's already seen Duke Lavery and Fizon in the same room at the same time. How much more proof does she need that I'm not Fizon? It was a stroke of brilliance. This is my trusted associate, Robert Scorpio, consultant for the Interpol. Yeah, and um, we're here and we're looking for, looking for this man. Have you seen him? No. No, you haven't seen him. That's that's very disappointing. Uh, how about taking a look at this guy? He said he was here a few years ago and said he saw the previous man. His name is Faison here at this facility. Let me know if you recognize this man. I do remember this man. He had a broken back, I believe. Mm. But as to the other, I'm afraid he's mistaken. That man was never here. I see. Well, that's, that's too bad. That's, that's too bad. However, we do have a warrant that we secure from the local authorities, Robert. And um, we say we have a little look around this facility. And let's start with, um, oh, I don't know, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. What do you say we open this door, Doc? Who was that on the phone? Oh. Was my man in Washington? To be more accurate, my handler. Your case agent? Yes, I was just briefing him on the reappearance of Faison. I told him Robert had accused me of being Faison. Mm -hmm. What did Interpol have to say? They're broadening the search. I have to call my people and let them know what's going on. Is that really necessary? What does Sonny do now? He assaulted AJ. What do you mean? Hey, you should know that Dad and I haven't exactly been getting along lately. Okay. But Star convinced me to talk to him, and when I walked in, he was hitting AJ. Hey, AJ is not small or helpless. I'm sure he could defend himself. Not huh? from this. You know how Dad gets when he loses it completely. Yeah, that bad? Yeah, Star had to take AJ to the hospital. Sonny, why, why did you go after AJ? I have no idea what happened before me and Star came in there, but there was blood all over the boxing ring. When Michael was younger... He saw me lose it a couple times. Not on, you know, never on him. I would never lay a hand on any of my kids. I just would, I would throw things, break furniture, nothing like that. Well, you know, boxing's a violent sport. You know, people get carried away. 
I'm just, I just want to know why AJ would come in here and make a speech about, you know, there's room for both of us in Michael's life. Yeah, I heard him say that. And then he gets in the ring, and he tells me he's going to take Michael away. But you know what? It's my fault. Let him get to me. Michael comes in. He sees that. He saw Connie tied up to a chair. Well, how did AJ get in here? That's a good question. Look, I'll talk to the fellas up okay, front. Tell the guys that I don't want any scum walking in here. Boxing ring. So, Sonny and AJ were sparring? It wasn't sparring. It was a beatdown. Was AJ wearing gloves? What does that have to do with that? Just anything? answer the question. Yeah, he was wearing gloves. Then I'm sorry, Michael. AJ agreed to the match. You can wait in here. I'll be right back. Okay, thanks, Liz. You sure do have a way with people. Oh, you noticed, did you? A lot of amends to make. I just wish that Michael hadn't seen Sonny beating the crap out of me. Is that a fact? Do you actually think that I wanted Michael to see Sonny pounding on me? You wanted Sonny to look like a bad guy in Michael's eyes and for you to look like the innocent victim. Right? I thought it was a little convenient that Sonny just happened to be wailing on you when Michael and I walked in the door. How would I have possibly known that you guys were going to show up? I mean, I mean, think about it. It doesn't make any sense, least of all to me. Why would you think that? Because it sounds exactly like something my own father would do. When we anyone who has a father with a shady past and a shaky grasp on what's right and wrong. My dad knows all the tricks, which is why I know you are manipulating Michael and trying to slam Sonny in the process. Look, I'm sorry that your family's had problems. But think about what you're saying. How would I have possibly known that you guys were going to show up? Look, Michael just wants to know you. And I want to know him. Uh, does it have to be at Sonny's expense? Sonny has been so good to Michael. Now, I gotta tell you, I, I find that really interesting, coming from a girl who was just inches away from shooting Sonny. And how do you know about that? Honey, you're dating my son. I do my homework. So what do you say you cut the crap and explain to me why you're defending Sonny? Because it turned out he was innocent. Connie is the one who killed my boyfriend and my daughter. The two people Dad relied on the most to run the business and keep him level are gone, Jason and Bernie. Not to mention Kate. And Dad doesn't handle loss well. He lashes out, he gets angry, and AJ got in his way. Okay, even if you're right, Michael, what's locking up Sonny gonna do? I don't know, I mean, he's not gonna go to prison. I mean, he'll spend at the most 48 hours in lockup. Maybe it'll give him a reality check. And you really wanna do that to your father? No, what I don't want is to walk in and see AJ on the ground bleeding and Dad standing over him again like he was tonight. Okay. I'm not arguing with what you saw, but AJ got into the ring, so there's not much I can do. Okay, you walked in on the tail end of a fight. For all we know, it was AJ's fault. You're blaming AJ. No, I'm not blaming anyone. I'm saying there's two sides to every story. Let me ask you this. Did, did you come here on your own, or did AJ send you? Look, I'm sorry for your loss. I, I cannot begin to imagine how hard that must be. But I'm not Connie. I'm not your dad. I'm just a guy trying to get to know his son. Okay, it looks like I'm the one that's going to be patching you up. Did you hand anyone your insurance card? Um, I haven't had time to get one, um, or a license for that matter. Um, I, I could pay with cash if that's cool. Uh, it's in my wallet, which is in my jacket, which is at the gym. Um, do you think you could please go to the gym and get it for me before Sonny decides to torch it? Yeah. I'm sorry if you did. You taking his side? Do you have any idea how many people in Port Charles would like to take a crack at you? The door, Doc. Obrecht. Mm, Obrecht. I'm the clinic director. Congratulations. Uh, could I take another look at that picture? Sure. Uh, could you enlarge it? That's... Yeah. He was a patient here. He'd had a terrible accident. His face was bandaged for months. That's probably why I didn't recognize him at first. Where is he? Well, he recovered and was discharged some years ago and I don't know, I haven't heard where he went to. I need you to think long and hard about this. It's very important that we find him. May I ask why? Yeah, he's wanted by Interpol for uh, treason and espionage, among other things. 
You can't be serious. <laughs> well, I remember this man to be so withdrawn, so quiet, sensitive. That's him, withdrawn, quiet, and sensitive. <laughs> How about this man? Do you know him? I'm police commissioner. I need to tell PCPD the fact he's on. But we're in Switzerland. What can they possibly do from Port Charles? For all we know, that's exactly where he's headed. Anyway, at the very least, I have to tell him to let Robert go. Ah, so all is forgiven now? Yes. He was mistaken about you. I mean, about Faison impersonating you. But he was right about him being alive, so give him credit for that. I don't understand. I just charged my battery an hour ago. How did you clear up your legal situation? I made a deal with the DA. They dropped all the charges. What? No trial? No no prison time? Sorry to disappoint you, no. But Emily saw you shoot Alan in the back. I mean, you, you tried to kill your father and your brother. What, 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 do, you, what do you want to hear me say, Elizabeth? That I was, I was messed up? You know, that I was out of control, that, that I was a train wreck. It was true, all of it. It was a long time ago, and I've changed. Every time you came home from rehab, every time you were begging for forgiveness, Emily would tell me, and she believed it, that you had changed. So what's different about this time? I'll tell you what, why don't we uh, make this easier on both of us? Why don't, why don't we get someone else to patch me up? Really good idea. AJ's at the hospital. He has no idea that I'm here. And look, Dad tried to kill AJ before to keep him away from me. I don't want to see that happen again. You're not even listening to me. No, I am, Michael. I'm just a little busy right now. We got a backup of cases. The commissioner is missing. I still haven't found Jason's shooter. Is that really what's driving you here? What are you talking about? Jason's gone. The guy who went to prison to protect you, the guy you leaned on your whole life, he vanishes. All of a sudden, AJ drops out of the sky with his sad story that he was kept away from you because of Sonny. What do you think I see AJ as a replacement? I don't. Jason is irreplaceable. You know what, maybe everyone's right. Maybe AJ is scum. Maybe he's as bad as everyone's saying, but even if that's true, he didn't deserve the beatdown that he got tonight. Mark, is there something? I could change about Sonny, I would, and it would be his temper and his warped code of ethics, but he raised you, Michael. He loves you. And how he feels about me is no excuse. I'm not saying it is. And if you really want to do this, you really want me to, to take AJ's statement, fine. But you got to think before I do. Do you really want to see your father arrested? What this guy, Doc? Do you know him? I'm afraid I don't. She's lying. She's seen him, she's seen Faison. He had plastic surgery, didn't he? I mean, that's why it took so long to recover. He now looks like Lavery. I'm afraid I don't know what you mean. This case has security implications for several countries. Amy, you know, may help us. She's covering for him. Now listen, you're gonna wind up an accessory here if the law enforcement official that he's holding is harmed in any way. Holding? <laughs> I, I yeah, don't you're, understand You're gonna what tell me what I want to know before it's too late for Anna. But you're getting someone else to treat me. She's doing my job. You know, I, I don't blame you for having a problem with me. I get it. I'm in no position to judge. <laughs> Why not? Everyone, everyone else does. Before Jason was shot, I did something that I will be ashamed of for the rest of my life. I told him and he forgave me, but I will never get the chance to make it up to him. People don't think this, but I, I knew my brother really well. And when Jason forgave you for something, that, that was it. I mean, he was over it. There was no reason to make up for anything. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I've been so hard on you. So what's it gonna be? You want me to take AJ's statement? No, no. Uh, it's more important that you find who shot Jason. I'll talk to Dad. And what does that mean? I don't want you to worry about it, okay? You got other stuff to focus on? Michael. What you said earlier. 
Jason is gone, and I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to, you know, replace him. But uh, I am your brother, and I'm here for you if you need me. Thanks. No, no, I'll think about what you said. Yeah, any word on the commissioner? For some reason, my phone's not charging. Can I borrow your phone? I've got to call my office. Yes, of course, but can I ask you something first? Yeah, what? I'd like to forget that Faison was ever here. I mean, but that's probably not possible. Well, no, of course it's not possible. But listen, when I was tied up with a gun to my head, I heard you tell Faison that Robert was right, that I'd been masquerading as Duke. Yes, but I wasn't accusing you. Yes, but when I was, I was back, accusing him. You were in danger, and I felt helpless. There was nothing I could do, and when I heard that you doubted me, I felt that everything that we had together since I came back was not real, that it was all gone and lost, and I felt as if I was losing you all over again. I'm sorry. Well, now that you know that I'm not Faison, is it possible that you could trust me? Could you maybe trust me the way you trusted me when we were husband and wife? Do you still doubt me, Anna? Is there anything that I can do or say to prove myself to you? You don't have to prove yourself. It was shocking to see Faison. I was terrified. And, and I just jumped to the wrong conclusions. And Robert had been adamant about that. And, and so I believed him for a minute. Have you any idea how jealous I get of this blind faith you have for Robert? I wish you could trust me in the same way. I do trust you. You know, when, when Faison's henchman brought you out here, then I realized that I'd been wrong. I'm sorry. I don't need an apology. This isn't about blame. I just need to know that, that you believe in me. I don't know what else to say. You know, I, when you were brought into this room, my questions went away, you know? I, all I could think about was saving you from Faison. I couldn't bear to lose you again. You're not gonna lose me. Don't you know that by now? I'm just grateful that you're alive. If you don't tell me what I wanna know, I swear on my own life. I'll have you thrown into this little boutique prison in Bulgaria where you'll be breaking bricks from oh, dawn till dusk. All right, you made your point. Hey, if you don't like this, get a coffee. All right, you're step a madman. Don't, don't leave me with him, He's please. also I, off his meds, but listen to I, me. My associate, he's just very step up there. He's very upset about our associate, all right, as am I, Anna. And we need to find her, all right? But listen, Dr. Albrecht, she's answered all our questions. What do you mean Robert? she's giving us bugger all? Robert, this is my case. You're a consultant, okay? If Dr. Obrick can't help us, she can't help us. We're done here. Huh. Yeah. Is that how I told you I'd apply a good cup back home? Okay. That warrant in your pocket is actually a Chinese menu. Don't you think you were laying it on just a little thick? It depends. Did it work? I have to go to my room. It's been a long night. Seriously? You're leaving now? No, I'll be back. Got the rest of the night together. Hmm. Those may be the sweetest words I've ever heard. You know, whatever you did to Jason, I, I guarantee it wasn't as bad as what I did. I miss him so much. So do I. You know, um, the other day I was up at the house and I was, I was looking through a bunch of photos and I found this one. Look at that. Crazy, huh? It's funny, I remember exactly what was going on in our lives at that point. I was actually not in trouble for once. Jason was getting straight A's. Of course, I was thinking about being a doctor. I was just, we had our entire lives were ahead of us and uh, there's just so much... I wanted to make up for it with Jason. Just sorry I never got the chance. Well, he was sorry, too. You know that he went to your grave and actually apologized for keeping you from Michael. Hey, Star. Hey. No, 
How's AJ? He's fine. Um, you know, he, he got he had that cut on his forehead and he was bleeding. He got stitches. Michael, I need to tell you something. I'd like the fondue and a bottle of your best champagne. Merci. Now what? I thought you should know that I have once again saved your Hinterbacken from Dan Fleming. What do you mean? Scorpio and a Detective McBain from the Port Charles Police were here. Damn it. I managed to stop Anna from making a phone call. How did they connect me with Switzerland? Relax. I told them that I'd never seen you and that Faison had vanished years ago. They know nothing about you or your whereabouts. And where are they now? I don't know, but I know for certain that they know nothing. Hey, who's on the phone? Let go of me. You look so beautiful. Just give me a message. I will return your call as soon as I can. Where's Anna? Where are they? <laughs> you think I'm going to tell you? <laughs> I'm called Trist. Be too late. Jason did that. He, he, he apologized for keeping me from Michael. He regretted hurting you. Listen, keep this, please. No, 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 no. Please, I have another copy. Keep it. You didn't know Jason before the accident. He was, um... He was such a good guy. He was... Such a good brother. He deserved a different life. He loved the life he had. Thank you for this. Yeah. AJ, stay away from Sonny. I had to go back to the gym to get AJ's jacket, and when I did, I saw that, um... Hey, Michael. Hey, AJ. How are you doing? You all right? Uh, my ego's a little banged up, but I'll live. I, I talked to Dante. Oh, the cop? Oh, come on. Listen, please, don't do that. I appreciate your help. I got enough trouble. I don't want to go down that road. Yeah, I understand. Look, uh, I want you to know I'd back you at ELQ. If... I could. My, uh, wait, what, what do you mean if? The stock went into a trust. My mom owns my voting shares until I'm 25. You know, I'd back you, but she never would. Never's a long time. Who knows, maybe there's something I can do to change Carly's mind. But in the meantime, I'd still like you to work with me. You want me to work at EOQ? Yeah, father and son. Okay. All right. Okay, sounds good. All right. Oh, easy. Oh, sorry. Thanks. <laughs> All right. It's Falcon Airy. I got a location on Anna. She's at a hotel in Lucerne, Switzerland. Switzerland. I know. I'm on it. Can we move to the bedroom? Yeah. Ah, another interruption? But this time it's only room service. I ordered fondue and champagne for later, you see? There's nothing can stop us from getting together. Interruption. But this time it's only room service. I ordered uh, fondue and champagne. Okay. Well, we can enjoy that later. 
Because nothing's going to stop us now. Scorpio, you've got to be joking. Bruce Irvin, get out of here. Ah, oh, we have a wonderful fondue here. Yeah, not very original, but... No oysters. <sighs> this takes talking to a whole new level. What are you doing here? I told you to leave me alone. Why are you here? Obviously, you didn't get my message. What message? About Faison. Oh, this is ridiculous. Get out of here! Faison. You called me Fa about Faison? Faison's alive. Yes. AJ Quartermain's well, got I evidence. I want to explain something to you. Look, AJ took a photograph at that clinic that you and Luke went to looking for Robin. I, I mean, need to tell you something. It can't be a coincidence. Something. It's true, Anna. A doctor confirmed that Faison was a patient. This was after the supposed boat explosion. Yeah, he's alive. I mean, there's your proof. I know. You do? Yes. I've seen Faison. In the flesh. Seen him where? Right here, in this room. So I have advised Interpol, and they'll find Faison, I hope. Find him? He's right here. What do you think? I'm Faison. What do you mean? <sighs> that Faison was in this room. Well, uh, well, what she meant was that huh? uh, she doesn't believe this is the real Duke Lavery, right? He is. What I'm saying is, Faison was in this room. I walked in, and he was waiting for me. And he had Duke tied up and gagged. You saw Lavery and Faison together? Yeah. I, I saw both men in the same room at the same time, which blows a hole in Luke's theory that Faison somehow had his face transformed with plastic surgery. Tell me, how did Olivia come to be looking at Lavery and see Faison? Well, maybe it was the LSD. Now, please, will you get the hell out I of here? I don't know. It was a premonition, Robert. Maybe she knew what was going to happen here tonight. The <gasps> Faison was going to come after Duke. Talk about twisting the evidence to suit There's yourself. no evidence. It was a hallucination. It doesn't mean anything. But what is certain is that Duke and Faison are two different people. Well, Robert, I think perhaps you owe me an apology. Sometimes John had Duke tied up and he threatened to shoot him. And yet Duke's standing here. Yes, because he overpowered Faison's man and he got free. What happened to Faison? I don't know. He was gone by the time I came to. What do you mean came to? Well, Faison gave me a sedative and I was out for a few minutes. You know, Duke and Faison may not be the same person, but they're obviously working together. No, he would never be associated with Faison, ever. Robert, I thought you and I settled our differences. Why can't you accept the fact that I have not done anything? We ran into a Dr. Albrecht at the clinic who admitted that Faison was a patient. So? That doesn't connect him to Duke. We showed her a photograph of Lavery. And what did she say? Swore up and down she didn't know him. Oh, God. Well, why are you wasting our time? Can you just leave, please, both of you? You don't know a Dr. Albrecht, do you, Lavery? No. I don't believe that I do. Well, that's interesting. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. It's interesting because right after we had gone, after swearing she'd never seen you before, she made a phone call. To you. You two are just clutching at straws to support this absurd theory. Well, if it's so absurd, why are you getting so flustered? Well, in case you haven't noticed, you interrupted a very important evening. I can see you went all out here. Really cool. Hmm. <sighs> it's hot. Oh, Anna doesn't want you, Scorpio. You lost. She wants me. So please, be a gentleman and take yourself and your ridiculous friend and get out of here. Could you tell me um, about this supposed phone call between Dr. Albrecht and Duke? Oh, Anna, please, you can't possibly be taking this seriously. I just to clear things up. No, you've given them proof. You've given them an eyewitness account. There's no way I could be anything to do with this phase on. But still, they... they it's persist that I'm something to do with an obsessed arch criminal who's altered his face to, to fool you? Well, well, you're right about that bit, about the arch criminal bit. And now they're trying to fabricate some association between me and somebody that I haven't even met. Hmm. Oh, by the way, this is, uh, this is Obrick's phone. We, uh, we confiscated it. What do you say we redial the last number called? calls from that number. She was obviously phoning you. <laughs> the only thing that's obvious is these two got a hold of my phone number. And then they picked up a prop phone in order to set me up. 
Set you up for what, Lavery? All this proves is you and Faison are the same doctor, the same clinic. It's nothing to get upset about. Well, I'm getting upset because I was trying to have a romantic evening with my ex-wife, in case you hadn't noticed. But her ex shows up with his ridiculous lackey, trying to make her doubt me. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, admittedly, yes, Robert's methods and motives are questionable at best, but McBain would never manipulate evidence. I know. No. Do you doubt me? Are you getting a little hot under the collar, Library? I don't know about him, but it's... Must be a thousand degrees in here. Yeah. What is it with the heat? Yeah, I turned the heat up. Why? What? Well, it's Lackey's instinct. What are you talking about? You know, we're all sweating except for except for you, Lavery. Why is that? You're actually asking me why I'm not sweating? I spent 20 years in the Turkish prison. You get very used to the heat. Well, your face is dry. Yeah, but why wouldn't it be? I mean, your face isn't sweating. Because it's not your face. What are you talking about? We've already established that... Your no. face on doesn't need to be surgically altered to look like Lavery. Sorry about that, Dirk. Got that part of it all wrong. Faison's a master of covert ops. He'd have access to state-of-the-art resources, everything he... To make himself a perfect likeness of Duke Lavery. You leave... A mask? What are you, mad? A mask is perfect. It's the reason you saw the both of them together. Now, he wouldn't have minded showing his ugly dial to you. So he takes off the lavery mask and puts that on him. Oh, would compass. you listen to yourself just for once? You take paranoia to a whole different level. Was lavery gagged the entire time you saw him? Yes, he was. So you never heard his voice? And you were conveniently unconscious when lavery comes in and takes out the henchman. I mean, how would you know what went on during that time? I wouldn't. Faison comes back, takes off. Takes out the goon, puts on the lavery mask just in time for you to wake up. But Duke shot Faison's accomplice. He was here. He was dead on the floor. Oh, come on. The guy's a psycho. What does he care about offering one of his own? Oh, I've had enough of this. If you won't leave, then I'm leaving. I know. Will you come with me? Yeah. All right. Oh, Anna, please. You're smarter than this. No, I'm going to go with him. Why don't you take me to that, that little inn, do you remember it? In the Andermatt? We got snowed in. Yes. Of course I will. What's wrong? We never went to the Andermatt. We never got snowed in. Okay, so I lied to you. Yeah, you did. Okay, I lied to you. I lied because I... I didn't want to hurt your feelings. I didn't... Because I'd forgotten something that was important to you. Something that was romantic that wasn't... But... You're taking their side. You're, you're taking their side against me. Are you turning this around no, on me? No! 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 I'm not turning it around. It's just I'm hurt. My feelings are very hurt. Now, I'm, I'm going to leave. When you come to your senses... I'll come back and I will get you. Explanations necessary. Four right. times sake, Scorpio, please. <sighs> Interpol's on the way. But, yeah. And look at this. You're starting to melt. Couldn't happen to a nicer psychopath. I did it all for you, man. Shut up. You stupid. 
stole another part of my life that I cherish. No, Anne. You're a monster. No, Anne, I'm not. I love you. You know I love you. I always loved you. You You loved me. All I want you to do is to love me back just a little bit. Senator McBain. Anna, please. Yeah, please. It's all yours. Anna. Just, Anna. just, just a minute. Just a minute. Thank you. Ah! Wait, I... Ah! It's almost Christmas. I've probably already decorated the tree. I wish I could see it. I miss you, Patrick. I miss you, Emma, so much. I miss my whole family. Ooh, nice hat, Sabrina. Oh, you like it? Yes. <laughs> I thought it might be too much. <laughs> Never enough. This place could use a little bit of brightening up. You ask me, there's far too many Scrooges around here anyway. You know, I'll never understand that. How can anybody not like Christmas with Santa and presents and the fall lying? Fall lying? <laughs> fall lying? <laughs> I've got the kids and peds working on their rendition of Deck the Halls. Nice, nice and early. Yeah. I convinced them that I'm Santa's helper here on reconnaissance. Good. Well, I'm sure they're just as excited as you are. Well, yeah, not just about Christmas, but for the nurses' ball. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah, it's going to be so amazing. I know it's going to happen. We're going to raise a ton of money for AIDS, and everybody's going to remember your wife and all the amazing things that she did. Well, she okay. deserves it. But I seem to remember a certain someone that didn't think it was going to happen. Yeah, I'll admit, mm -hmm. I had my moment of doubt. What changed your mind? I took your advice. Patrick, I miss you so much. I really don't know how much more of this I can take. Dinner. What, no service with a smile? This isn't a hotel. <laughs> yeah, I've noticed. You're usually so calm and collected. You have a bad day? My days have no concern of yours. Well, it might help you to talk about it. What happened? One of your patients get restless? Or, or did someone finally complain about your unorthodox treatment protocols? Be quiet! Oh, looks like I struck a nerve. I mean, you can tell me whatever it is. It's not like I'm in a position to spread gossip. I tell you what's wrong. Faison was captured. Hey, got you some coffee. Mind you, with your sweet tooth, and here we are in... Anna? Oh, my God, could I be any more stupid? I'm sorry, what did you just say? Nothing of your concern. No, you just said Faison was captured. My mother figured it out, didn't she? She would never believe that Faison was Duke. She believed... She, she had totally succumbed. It was the perfect plan. Not so perfect if it fell apart. <sighs> Thank God my mother's free of him. I hope Faison is right. I don't want hell. to hear another word about your mother or your father. As far as I'm concerned, they can both go to hell. Why don't you just say it? I told you so. Why don't you? Because that's something I don't want to say. Really? Why not? Because you're right about all of it. Faison, the master puppeteer, you know, he gets Duke to resurface after two decades in a Turkish prison. Oh, God! Faison. The whole ridiculous cover story that I should never have fallen for. What is wrong with me? You wanted to believe it. Why? Because he looked like Duke because he said he was Duke. I'm a spy. Well, that's a joke. I'm trained to be able to see through people who aren't who they claim to be. To spot inconsistencies, to know what is a lie and what is the truth. You told me it was Faison, you said it. I won't believe you. I didn't have any proof at the time and I was less than tactful the way. Oh, just stop it, could you not be so gallant? Would you rather I gloat? Yes, actually I would. You said I was compromised. I got sloppy. Got 
sloppy. What you did, my dear, was get played by one of the best. I'm a professional. I'm smarter than this. I am. I'm smarter than this. Why couldn't I just see it? What was right in front of my face? Because of Robin. So my dad knows about Faison. So my mom and dad, they're working together. If only I'd done as Faison asked. He wanted to eliminate Scorpio, and I talked him out of it. Well, good call on your part. I was concerned it would raise suspicion. I, I couldn't see the big picture. That Scorpio was too big a threat to leave alive. Interpol's probably holding a lottery to see which country gets to try and convict Faison first. Such a brilliant man. He threw it all away and, and, and left me to deal with the fallout. Dr. Obrecht, you're in a very difficult position. Maybe it's time to cut your losses now and let me go. Now! I gave... You're gonna keep me here. I, I'm nothing but a liability. Just one more crime for the police to charge you with. I mean, is this really what you wanted for yourself? Don't you have a family? I mean, people that love you? My family is not your concern. Well, I haven't seen my family in almost a year. You have no idea how much I miss them, how much I miss my husband and my little girl. I should care for your suffering. You're a doctor, just like I am. You don't become a doctor without caring about people. This is an impossible situation. It's a very simple way out. All you have to do is trust your own humanity and just have some compassion for me for my whole family and just let me go, please. You had your heart broken. You both did. No parent should ever have to bury their child. I mean, how do you describe in words that sort of a loss? Luke, Luke said you were dealing with it. And then that idiot, Heather Weber, has to go and tell you that, that Robin's alive. She did the worst imaginable thing for a grieving parent. She gave them hope. So off you go to Switzerland. When you get there, you discover that Robin's gone. So you've got to deal with the loss all over again. Yeah, I did. And in, in the middle of all of these steps, Duke Lavery, alive and in color, standing in your living room. I could have shot him that first day. I wish to God I had. Faison's timing here was in was impeccable. He knew he could never get away with any of this unless you were grieving for Robin. But as it is, he still had to throw everything he had at you, including a dead man's face. What if he didn't? What if that man is still alive? This isn't just about me. But why should you have to pay for the crimes that Faison committed? If you let me go, then you look innocent. Things are difficult, yes. Now is the time when one's faith is tested. And I have faith in Faison. Well, you're going to be very disappointed because Faison is a treacherous man and he only cares about himself. He will save himself and he'll blame you for everything. They will not compromise his plan. He'll find a way to remedy the situation. If my parents know that Faison is alive, it's only a matter of time before they figure out the rest. That I am alive and that Faison is the one that took me. It's too random. Like, Trust me, no that... Dr. Obrecht. You do not want Anna Devane and Robert Scorpio to find me shackled to a bed. You don't want me to have to explain to them that you are the one that held me prisoner. If you want to get out of this alive, you have to let me go. You may have a point. I have no choice but to eliminate you. Don't do this, Anna. Please. I mean, no, no, I ignored my instincts before. I overlooked inconsistencies, and I'm not going to make that mistake again. What inconsistencies? 
All right, hear me out. When I come into this room, Faison is in here, right? Mm. And he had this thug. Uh, oh, God, what was his name? Oh, it was Klaus. Of course it was Klaus. So Klaus brings Duke into this room. He's all bound and gagged, and he's being held at gunpoint. And uh, um, this man that I thought was Duke, he's fighting against his restraints, and he's trying to tell me something. And, and that's when Faison says to Klaus to shoot him. And I go for the gun, and I try to get it. Well, that was staged. Yes, exactly. Right. At that point, Faison drugs me. And I'm out. And then when I come to, now Faison has got this whole mask back on again as Duke. And this Klaus person is lying here. He's dead. Duke says he shot him and that Faison escaped. So what's the problem? Who was that man? That was Duke. Who was the man being held at gunpoint? We went through all of this. Faison came in, stuck the Duke mask on the henchman. Right, of course, because anybody could look like Duke if they had that mask on. But what if there's another possibility? Well, wait a minute. You're, you, you're not buying Yeah, it. no, listen. What if Duke Lavery is alive? What if that was him? Faison had this plan down to the last detail. He needed you to see him with Duke. So the best thing was to slap a mask on one of the henchmen. Right, I know. It's vintage Faison. W why don't you want to believe that? Well, because when Faison was posing as Duke, you know, he wasn't just some mute person. He knew things, right? Yeah. He, he knew things about me, Duke, yeah. conversations, places we'd been, things that only Duke and I would know. But this is Faison. You don't think... He's capable of getting such a thorough dossier. Right, I know, but I was also wondering why when Luke went to Turkey that the story checked out. Wait, wait, wait. Luke said he couldn't, he couldn't disprove Lavery's story. Right. Maybe because Duke Lavery had actually been in that Turkish prison. Uh, uh, wait, wait. Faison's more than capable of bribing people and falsifying records. But what if... What if there's another possibility? What if Duke had been held captive in that Turkish prison and Faison had found him there and he questioned him and he got all this information out of him and maybe, I don't know, maybe he took a mold of his face and because that would explain why that mask is so perfect. Look, all he needs is good software and a decent lab and he can fabricate anyone's face. But let's call Interpol. No, let's call... You know, there's what's something his... else. It's been bothering me. When Klaus brought Duke into this room. There was a look in his eyes. Something that had been missing. Duke, when he came in here, he was struggling to tell me something. And he was fighting, he was trying to save me. And I recognized his eyes. They were Duke's. Okay. I don't think you're right about this, but... I know where we can go and get some answers. You said so yourself. It's only a matter of time before your parents find you here. And when they do, they'll destroy everything Faison strove to accomplish. It's already been destroyed. That's why you have to think about this. And you have to save yourself. <sighs> yes. That's why I can't risk the authorities learning of your existence. I'm afraid the only solution is for you to die. No, killing me is not going to fix anything. And if you let me go, I'll tell my parents and I'll plead for leniency. Leniency? From Robert Scorpio? The man is ruthless to his enemies. A legend among the spies. No. He'll want Faison to pay and he'll want me to pay as well. As for your mother, I never understood Faison's obsession. But I know she's dangerous. And I imagine she'd be merciless to a woman who had harmed her precious child. My parents pay their debts. If you save me, they will owe you. I'm afraid you are right after all, Robin. It's time to cut my losses. Please. 
You can't. I must decide what to do, and quickly they'll be coming here soon. You're not the only one I have to deal with. What? What do you mean? Who else are you holding here? Who? Who's here? Well, the committee was Sabrina, aren't you? Yes, I am. So you have to go with I us. I can't go to New York. I promised my daughter that I was going to decorate the tree with her tonight. Bring her! I she wants a tree? You can't do any better than the one in Rockefeller Center. You and Sabrina can take her, and I can pave the way for Miss Cole. I would love to go, you guys. I, I would, but I can't, so good luck. I will be there in spirit. What is wrong with you? I have a great idea. Why don't I, I come do. over later? You want to decorate the tree with us? I told you I love Christmas. <laughs> Look, I, I have a procedure right now, but I'm free in the afternoon. We could make cocoa, string popcorn, whatever. Just the three of us. Sit on the couch. Oh, family photo. You might want to fix your hair, though. It's what are talking about? How's my hair look? Good. Good? Better? Good? Yeah. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yes. <gasps> Emma, do you hear that? Yeah. <gasps> I think I hear some sleigh bells. <gasps> sleigh bells? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Is he getting close? Come here. Uh oh, I think I see. See that red dot way in the distance? Yeah. What is yeah, it? that's Rudolph's nose. You think that's Rudolph? He's leading Santa's sleigh. Uh oh, he's just about here. Lucky you wrote Santa that letter. He knows our address. <laughs> huh? Baby, I'll text you. Sure. Let me know. Okay. Cook and Robin. Neither can be discovered here alive. What are you doing here again? We want the truth. On is in custody, so you don't need to deny it. I know he was posing. You're looking as for a patient, but he this knew things that only Duke could know. So my question to you is: Is Duke Lavery alive? <laughs> so you've lost your grip on reality. No, he's as sane as you like, my dear. But you're in a lot of trouble unless you stop. Come on, forward. this is nonsense. I don't have to justify what is Fine. going on here. You know what? You want to play it like this? I'm going to go room by room. What's in here? No, don't. Ah! No. Oh my God. Are you gonna help me? Special delivery. Is this a bad time? Daddy? Never a bad time to see my little girl, right? Hi, honey. Hey. How are you? Hi. Oh, yeah. how was school today? Good. We made ornaments. Can we hang them up on the tree? Of course we can. Let me take this off. Okay, why don't you go put your pajamas on first, and then you can come back down and we'll hang those ornaments up, okay? Okay, Daddy. Okay. Bye. Thanks for a great day. I'm going to do anything for that little princess. For you, too. So lay it on me. You look like you've seen a ghost. I did. I just saw Robin. <laughs> Problems? No. Apologies for the delay. I ran into a bit of trouble. Or maybe I was right. Maybe you actually do have a heart and are having second thoughts about killing me. Appeals to my sensitive side would get you nowhere. So you admit you have a sensitive side. No choice in the matter. You have to be eliminated before your parents find you. Oh, God, is it really you? Lana, you are so beautiful. Oh, God, is it It's me. Is Anna. it him? Anna, it's me. Anna. It's really me. I'm a little bit worse for wear, but it's me. 
Are you hurt? All right now, I've never felt better in my life. I have no idea how much I've wanted to see you. Me too. I knew you would come. I knew this would happen. I knew it. My hero. I mean, you saw Rob right there, right across the room, clear as day. And I'm sober, Mac. I haven't taken any drugs in months. I know you haven't. Then what is wrong with me? Are you feeling okay? Aside from seeing my dead wife, the only time I had hallucinations when I was on the drugs, and I haven't taken any. You and Emma have been doing great. Yeah, so, so why am I seeing Robin now? I'll tell you why. I wish we could enjoy this reunion, but uh, we better get out of here. I'm sure Faison's prepared for no, my potential right. escape. You don't have to worry about it. He's been neutralized. I don't know how to thank you, Robert. Well, you should thank Anna. She's the one that figured that there might be one more piece left in Faison's puzzle, and you could actually be alive. But I, I hope you don't mind. Mind what? Ah, Robert, really? What? Just now, checking. I understand after what you've been through, you can do any tests that you like, but I think we should do them elsewhere. Let's not do it. Faison is in custody. He can't hurt us. Yes, but he has people, though. He has people here. He has a woman here. If they would do anything for him, I think she's runs the place. She's Dr. a physician. Dr. Holbrook. Do my parents know I'm alive? Are they here? Word of advice? Don't spend time fretting over things you can't control. I have a life waiting for me in Port Charles. I have a husband and a daughter who love me. Ah! Please, I'm begging you. I know what you must think, Robin. But I'm not a robot. I understand the bond between mother and child. Well, then let me get back to my daughter. I can't. Why not? Faison left instructions. Failure to comply could mean my own life. No, please. Please. I'm sorry, Falsapine. I've caused you Robin. Please. There won't be any more. Please, you can't do this. Please. I have no choice. Please, I'm begging you. Close your eyes and it will be like falling asleep. Please. Going crazy? No. No. No, you're in mourning. Right. Mourning. So are you. You don't have visions of Robin? No, but her death has hit me in other ways. You know, the thing I've learned about loss is that once you think you've got a handle on it, it blindsides you all over again. I get missing her, you know, I get wanting to talk to her and everything, but when I see her, it's like she's r real. You know, I, um... I went shopping for Christmas presents the other day, and I picked something out for Felicia, Maxie, you, Anna, Emma, and as I was lugging all my bags, Back to the car, I, uh, I stopped short. And I mean, I physically stopped walking. Because I realized I didn't get anything for Robin. I mean, I didn't even have a present on the list for her. And I pulled my phone out in a panic. I was going to call you, and then... And only then did reality hit me. Hey. This is your first Christmas without Robin. Okay, you got to cut yourself some slack. I remember it clear as day last year. Uh, we had been through so much, and we'd come out the other side. But she got me an early Christmas present. She got me a video camera. And I didn't really put two and two together at the time, but she knew that her HIV was progressing to AIDS. And... But it hadn't. It hadn't. Robin wasn't sick. She was strong. But it was our last Christmas together anyway. Mom! Dad, I'm in here! Come find me! Oh. Mom! It's no use. Your parents Dad! are elsewhere. Uh, uh. As soon as I figured out who Faison was, 
what he wanted. I tried to stop him, but I was almost futile. He wanted you, Anna. He had me relive every minute of our lives and our entire history. And well, the hard part was, as I did that, all he wanted to be with you and made me miss you and miss us. And it made it hardly because the psychopath wanted to be with you. In the end, that ended up to be your best weapon. Because it was those little inconsistencies you put in the stories that... I mean, that's what triggered everything. It was brilliant. No, <laughs> you were brilliant. I put little coded messages in there just for you, in amongst the truth, and you picked up on them. I thought there was something wrong. I couldn't... You know... But actually, to give him his due, it was Robert that figured it out. Oh, then I'm grateful to Robert. I wish I'd realized sooner. I just... I thought you had realized sooner. Why do you say that? Well, a couple of weeks ago, Faison came here. He was furious. I thought he was going to kill me. He said I had ruined his plan. He said one of the memories that I'd given him was false and somebody picked up on it. I thought he was talking about you. And he said, no, he wasn't. He was talking about somebody else. Ah! Soon ah! this will all be over. Ah! Who's ready to decorate? Are you staying, Papa Mac? Oh, sweetheart, I wish I could. No one loves stringing popcorn more than me. But I've got to go to the hospital to check on Maxie, okay? Is she sick? Uh, no, no, Maxie's the picture of health. Don't you worry. Then why is she at the hospital? Well, because, um, Maxie's doing something very special. She's helping someone out. Actually, two people. And it's very brave. And it's selfless. And I really hope it works. Me too, Daddy. Me too. Bye. Bye. You're saying the Faison actually said someone else nearly ruined his plan? Who? Well, that's all I got out of him at the time. Anna, it's been a while, but I know that look. Sorry. Tell me, what are you thinking? Well, I don't know who else other than me knows you well enough to be able to get in Faison's way. No. What? What is it? No, it's not possible. Anna, nothing is impossible. Look at you and I here in this room. Anything is possible. Who are you thinking about? It just doesn't make sense, that's all. Who? Away from the daughter. You hurt? You hurt? Can you find me? Okay. Get out of this. Now, how tough do you feel, Dr. Obrey? Let me introduce you to my father, Robert Scorpio. I doubt that that's a vitamin shot, so leave it there, all right? As you wish. <laughs> Dad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Your placement is impeccable. It's perfect. Do you like it? I love it. You did a really good job on that thing. What do you say? You want to do the rest? Well, can we hang our stockings first? Yeah, we can do that. We're just going to have to find them. Will we put up Mommy's, too? What do you think? I think Mommy has one in heaven, but we should put it up anyways, in case Santa makes a mistake and brings her presents here. I think that's a really good idea. We wouldn't want her to not have any presents, would we? Here's mommy's right there. Come here. I don't know why I didn't think of Robin. She was always a bright girl. She'd see straight through face. That's not what I mean. What do you mean? She passed away, Duke. No. Oh, my body, little lass. Oh, Anna, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's what we were led to believe. I don't understand. There was an explosion at the hospital where she worked. And so she did become a doctor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a really, really good doctor. 
she was great. But um, we were told that her body had burned, you know, that we couldn't really see it. And so we buried her and tried to get on with our lives, which is impossible. It's just... So then there's this unhinged woman who doesn't really care for me very well. And she told me that she'd seen Robin in this institution in Port Charles. Why would you want to do that? Because she was playing with my mind, you see. So she was lying to you? Yeah. Well, I'm not so sure because it took me on this trail. She led me right here. To Switzerland? Here. To this clinic, to a padded cell, right here. You've been here before? Yeah. But you didn't find Robin? No, it was just a young woman that looked like her. I thought the whole thing was a mind game. <laughs> but the fact that it led me here, to this place, to this clinic, which is Faison's base. Well, that's not a coincidence. Right? Right, I'm not crazy, am I? I mean, think about it. If he wanted me, maybe he wanted Robin, and he was going to get an instant family, and so Robin could be here. Maybe he brought her here. Maybe she's here, and maybe she's alive. I mean, you said anything is possible. Anything's possible, Anna. Robin's alive. And she's here. We're gonna find her. We're gonna find her together. Dad! Dad, be careful! Dad! What was in the syringe? What's in it? Not the outcome you anticipated. Let me go. Let me go. He's my dad. I can't just sit around watching. It's too late, Robin. There's nothing more you can do. Dad. Dad, look at me. All that's left is to deal with you. Daddy. 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 Daddy.